Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in the last video, we started building out a very simple membership funnel. We started off with an opt-in page where someone's going to give their email address in exchange for some free membership site training. And then they're going to go up to the uh, order form, the sales page here, where we're going to upsell them to the premium content that will also be stored inside the membership area. Then they're going to go to the thank Thank you for joining page. And I realized I just forgot the word for in there. Uh, but the uh, thank you page, are going to land on that where they're going to then have a link that will send them to the membership access page. So just to show you the very simple stuff we filled out, somebody would come in here to the opt-in page, give us their email address, click on the sign up button, which will take them to the sales page, which of course there would be sales copy and whatnot on here, video, images, etc. But then we filled out the basics that that we needed for an order form. When they click to sign up, they'll have their card charged for $797 for that premium content. Then they will end up on the thank you page where they will have a button that will bring them to the access page. So now we're going to jump in and start working on the access page. And again, like the other three pages that we've already built, we're going to start off with something very simple just to get down what are the basics of what has to be on the page. And then I think I'm going to delete all that out and build something a little bit more complicated. And then I'll show you three or four other examples of ones that I have built. And I'm sure you've seen hundreds of them by now on the internet for other marketers as well. So let's just go into our page and we're going to start off as always. We're going to start off with a section. And I made this a full width section. So actually, let's not do that because we're just going to make this narrow like we did earlier on uh, some of these other things like for the order form and stuff. We're just going to start off with something narrow and one column. So then you're going to come in. You're normally going to have a one column row. And we're just going to drop a headline in there like we did with the other ones. Now, what do you absolutely need to have on an access page? There's really only one thing, and it's right here. It is our user login. So we set up our user login. And then because you might be using this as a landing page, we really should put another section at the bottom. And that, again, we'll just make that a full width section. And down here, what that's going to be is that's going to be for our footer because you should normally always have a footer. On, I really put them on every single page that I build out. You don't have to have them on every page, but you certainly have to have them on anything that could be considered a landing page, especially if you were going to be sending any kind of traffic to it. So we'll put a footer down here at the bottom. And again, this form is really quite simple to fill out. Uh, we can come in and we can click on the settings and we can make a few changes in here. So it says here, um, create your account. Uh, so let's just, just change it just for the sake of doing it. Um, join our training, we'll call that, just for lack of anything better to call it. You got your email here. Um, you can call us anything you want. I don't know why you would change it from email. You have uh, your password. You have your placeholders here. So it says your, your email. But unfortunately, my email address is here, and I'm having to blank that out. But it would say your email there. You could say enter your email. Same thing with password. But down here, you can see that it says confirm your password, and you can change that text if you want. Really no reason to change any of that. And then you have here create your account. And again, you can make this whatever you want. You know, yes, I'm so excited. Whatever you want to put in there. Um, that's totally up to you. And then that's really the basics of it. The rest of this here is what will show on the login page. Now we're going to go into much greater detail on this when we talk about the login URL versus the super secret signup URL. But what you essentially have is you have two different boxes. You have this box that you would have if you're going to register and you'll have another box if somebody's already registered and they're going to log in. So the login URL will go to the second box, which has this information in it here. So again, the title for that one would be login. And once you see it, you can, um, or, or here's the headline actually, log, log in, log into your account. I'm not sure if that's proper English, but uh, log into your account 
you would have that there. You would have the button as well as log in to account. And so these you will all see once you get your site up and running and you test out your different URLs. You'll see it. You'll be able to see what the text is and then you'll be able to make any changes if you would like. And then, of course, you can change your button color and the color of the text. And is there somewhere in here to change the fonts? I don't think there is, actually. You can change the style by clicking on Simple. You can see the shadow went away. We'll put the shadow back on there. Or Big Border. Normally, I just leave it on Professional. And then you got your background color of white, gray, or black. And you can see it's changing there for confirm your password. Not for the others because, again, my... My email address and password, unfortunately, are stuck in here, and I can't seem to get them out. So that's really a very, very simple, basic way of setting up a membership access page. So now let's delete everything out, and let's make something a little bit fancier. It's not going to be a whole lot fancier. In fact, I'm just going to leave the footer in there, and we will now come in and add a new section above the footer, and we're going to make that a full-width section. And that didn't want to work. Let's try it again. That's not working. So let's try the third option. And there we go. The third option worked in order to get that in. That, that can just be really fussy sometimes, getting in those uh, new sections, especially when they're at the top of the page. Then they really, really seem to be problematic. But before we go any further, let's put in a background image. So we're going to go up to settings and then background. And then we are going to click on the little landscape button. And what I do with most of my background images is I tag them with a BG dash and then some sort of word. So all I have to do is type in BG dash and it pulls up all the background images that I have. I don't have a whole lot of them in here. Mostly it's different textures that I use a lot of times on a regular basis. But now let's just go and we're going to click on this image here to use this as a background. So we'll double click on it and it's going to put it into the page. Now it says here it wants it on full center fit. Let's just go fill 100% width. And let's see if that's the best way to go. Yeah, let's just do full center fit. When it first came up, for some reason it was repeating. And, and again, as soon as you click on something, it straightens it out. So here we have our, um, our background image. And so now let's start building out what we want for our content. And let's say for the area where we want to put in the actual uh, login form, we're going to make that a two-column section there. And on the right-hand side, let's put in our user login. And then on the left-hand side, let's just say we're going to have a video here. So we'll put a video in that area. And then above this, really, we need another, we need another row because we're going to need to have some sort of a headline. So let's, um, let's just do this. We're going to put in a one-column row. We're going to drag that in. And then let's say even we want to add another section at the top. So let's grab another full section at the top, put that up there. And inside of that, we're going to put another one column row. And inside of that one column row, we are going to put in a subheadline element. And what I'm just going to say here is, let's see here, our pre-headline will go here. And now that's come down way too far. So what we want to do is we want to start fixing that up a little bit. And so let's take out all of the padding, top and bottom, and I don't want it to be transparent like that. So let's just, or yeah, transparent. So let's just put in a background. Let's see what we got. Let's just make it white for right now. And let's see, let's put on a little bit of a border on the bottom just to separate it out. And let's say maybe two pixels. And let's bring down the opacity on that some just to lighten it up. And then let's even, let's see what happens if we put a 40% drop shadow at the bottom. Eh, eh, it might be okay. It might be a little too much. Let's just see here. Okay, let's just go with that. And then in here, we're going to put in a headline. So we'll just drop in a headline right there. And again, you start to start to see what we're doing here. So now 
Let's see what else do we want to do. Let's see. Actually, let's bring this section. Let's bring that down a little bit. Maybe not quite that much. Okay. And this doesn't really need to be this wide, so let's pull that over. Makes the uh, video a little bit bigger. But now we have this section, and what we can do with this section is we can change the background on that as well. Okay, let's go back to settings. Let's go back to our background color. Let's make it partially see-through. Okay, that's all right. And then let's see here. Let's, we need, let's put some space above it. Let's maybe even say like 50 pixels. And then again, we need some sort of a border around it or some sort of shadow. Let's see if we do a 40% inner shadow and maybe just a full border, just like one pixel full border all the way around the outside. Maybe even bring that down a little bit. But you start to get the idea. You can kind of just play around with this thing and kind of create some boxes and just highlight things a little bit just so that people's eye comes to the center, comes right into here. So that's actually needs to have a little bit more color in the background there. It's a little too wiped out. Why, is, why does it seem like it's not changing? Did it change? I guess it got a little lighter. Okay, so let's just leave it so it just barely barely goes through. And then over here on this side, so what? Well, let's say over here on the video, let's say we want to um, do something with that video. So let's come up to our themes, and we got different themes that we can use on the video. And so let's just say we want to create it here with this big uh, black border around it. Normally that looks pretty good. And then on this side over here, let's, uh, let's look at the column for that and see what we have in the column. We have the second column here for this row. You see how it highlighted it in blue as we came over the top of it. So we're going to have this column, but let's do this. Let's go in here and put in a 40% inner shadow. And now you see we got, a, we got some padding issues and stuff. So we're going to increase the padding on the top, let's say to 20, and we'll go to 10 on the bottom. And then on the sides, let's bring it in a little bit so it's not too jammed up against the side. And then let's even round those corners. And again, I'm just kind of playing around here and showing you stuff. This may not be the most beautiful, professional-looking thing in the world, but you get an idea of, of how simple it is just to come in here and just put elements in. And they all have to make sense eventually uh, when you're putting them in. We'll put a little bit of a headline under here. So now... Somebody's going to have signed up for either the free membership or the paid membership. They're going to come into the site. They're going to be able to create their account. And then they'll be able to click here and it will take them to the membership area. And again, we have our section down here with the footer. And maybe we leave this completely transparent background. But let's just push it down a ways. We can add to the, the margin and the padding and we'll just push it all the way down here to the bottom just so you can have your your black footer down here you could you could make the background a little bit of a lighter color just to be able to set it off so people can maybe see it and read the content a little bit better so we'll just give it a little bit of a fade there and um, so right there that's it that's all you really need to do it's pretty much the simplest part of all of this is setting up the members access page so before we bounce out of here, I just want to show you a couple of examples of things I've done in the past. And this first one is what I did, not that one there. This one here is what I did for Steve Larson's uh, affiliate outrage program. This is the access page I built for that program there. And it turns out really nice here. I had a textured background on this one here. And then all I do is this is just nothing more than a drop shadow around the content. But with that texture in the background, I think it really makes it stand out nicely. And then uh, same thing here 
Very similar idea using the textured background, dropping in an image, and doing the same thing with this box here. But in this case, what this was was an example of being able to create a landing page or a sales page that was also acting as the member's access page. So what we did here is we put basically what amounts to a long form sales letter below it. We have alternating text, alternating images, other other areas in here and you can obviously make something much more complicated much more professional looking this was done very quickly as an example of how you could use a members access page as basically it, it does everything at this point then it's an opt-in page it's the sales letter page it's not really an order form page but the nice thing about this with the new Wasabi upgrade that they did to the ClickFunnels membership, they have an OTO feature in there now where you can have somebody just land on this page. You could even send them here from an ad. They would land on this page. They essentially would just opt in. So they're going to be put onto a list. They're going to opt into your content. They're going to get into the free part of the members area. And then once in the free part, when they click on the paid part, it will actually send them to an order form page where they can sign up and buy and then be redirected back into the content itself. So it's a pretty slick way of being able to really knock out a bunch of different features all in one shot by having somebody come here opt in after seeing the sales content you could have a video here whatever and then actually get upsold while inside the members area so that's a pretty slick way of doing it here is um, the access page that i have for my cf ninja hack site very very simple little bit of text a little bit of a background again very simple to set up and then here's one that we use for a campaign, um, a politician training kind of site that we run. And you can see it all right here as well. Um, and here we even give them a note to make sure, because in this case here, they're buying before they go inside most of the time. So we're just telling them make sure they use the same email address that they purchased with in order to create their account. So the next video we're going to talk about is going into the training area and actually there's going to be several videos on that because there is just so much content that has to be gone through in order to get your membership site set up. So until next time, have a great day.